Boys, today we are going to be showing you how to make the most stubs in MLB The Show 21. Now, I usually do these guys. I've done them since 20, and I hope this helps you out because it is going to be how I got Mike Trout, all of these guys that are super high stubs. No money spent by just playing the game. I'm going to tell you guys my little secrets, the little glitches, all the little small things that you guys can do to make a ton of stubs. If this video helps you out. Make sure to drop a like and a sub. Man, we've been doing, we've been doing absolutely crazy today, and every like and every sub counts. Thank you guys so much. Let's get right into the freaking video. All right, boys. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to create one of the best teams in Diamond Dynasty and earn a ton of stubs. So the first thing you're going to do whenever you're doing all of this is you're going to go to the marketplace. Now, I've talked about this in a couple of videos, but I'm going to kind of break it down for you guys because it's something that's really needed for you guys and it's something that's going to make you a lot of stubs. So the first thing that you're going to want to do whenever flipping cards in the market, and a lot of people make it sound way harder than it is, you just want to look at big gaps between the buy now price and the sell now price. Now, whenever you're doing this, the biggest misconception of all of this is the fact that a lot of people will say don't do diamond cards. Now, the guys that say don't do diamond cards, I don't understand that because if you can find a really big gap between a diamond card, I know it's a little bit higher risk, but you will make more stubs off the flip. So whenever you're looking at all these, I'm looking for the biggest gap. Now, Lou Brock has a 53 to 64. Now, that's a big gap, but you have to keep in mind that it's a higher price card. So if you buy it for 53 and you sell it, with the way that you check if you're going to make a lot of stubs on it is you simply do what I'm doing right now. So 64, 998. Now, that's not something really hard. Now, you can see that you would make 58,000 whenever you sold it. If you're buying it for 53,000 stubs and you're selling it for and for 64,998, you're going to be making a, about 5,000 per flip. Now, Lou Brock should be moving pretty fast. Lou Brock's a good outfielder. I could see about 10 to 50 of these guys moving an hour, probably more because a lot of people are playing this game, so up to 1,000, I don't know. But the big thing about that is you're going to be making 5,000 stubs per flip. And I know that's a high, little bit higher risk, and you have to have more stubs to do it. So if you have to do, have less stubs to do it, I'm going to be talking about more cards that you can do right now. So one thing that you can do is you can start with kind of the low diamond slash high gold cards. Now, whenever you're looking at all these guys with big gaps, again, look for the gaps. I don't honestly the market right now with some of these live series cards, the gaps are really, really, really small. And so that's why it's kind of hard. DJ LeMayhew has a little bit of a gap, but again, that's 3,000. So I don't know how much you would end up making after that. I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can check all these yourself. The Aussie Albies is about a 600 stub difference. And I know that some of these might seem really, really small. You might be like 100 subs, 200 subs, 300 subs. That's not a lot. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing the same card and other cards. You're going to be flipping about 10 cards at a time. And you kind of just got to write down and you kind of just have to sit on the market and grind and pay attention to the selling out orders and all the stuff. And if you're getting undercut stuff, and if you end up getting undercut, one thing that you need to do is you go to your my orders, you go to active orders, and you look at Trevor Rosenthal, for example, and you just cancel it and you start another one on Trevor Rosenthal. So it's not that hard. Don't overthink it. It's not something that's going to be too difficult. Just make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do and just kind of be paying attention all of it that way you can do it as fast as possible now my my thing that I do how I make so many stubs is you're not just gonna be flipping cards in the market now again the one kind of medium tier that I'm gonna be talking about is some of the 42 cards these move a ton because everyone wants Jackie Robinson again none of these gaps are absolutely huge the Hank Aaron isn't bad the King Griffey isn't bad but some of these aren't as big as they used to be but the big thing about this is you're gonna be flipping cards but you're not gonna be just flipping cards you're gonna be flipping cards and doing other things as well make stubs you want to make stubs really really fast the first thing that I'm going to recommend that you guys do is got to be the moments. You got to be doing the tops now moments. If you aren't doing them, do them ASAP. They literally take 20 minutes, and each time you do them, you're going to get about 15K stubs. Now, some of these cards go for more than others, and I know I haven't even done this yet, so this is something that I'm about to do as soon as I get, finish this video. But the tops, the new tops now just came out recently, and then there's these, and you get 1,000 stubs by just playing the moments. It's literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 moments on this one. And then this one's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 moments moments so just make sure you guys do these these are free stubs and you're going to be getting stubs as you go you get 1400 subs for finishing these five moments and on top of that you're going to choose those two players and if you don't want them for your team i remember i wanted my guy ryan mcmahon on the team and he's done really good for me so if you want these guys i know that there's that brand new starter and then there's that adam duvall and if you want to make sure you take them because i have ryan mcmahon and i have ryan mcmahon 
batting 468. He's been really good for me. He's already parallel three. The dude is an absolute dog. So if you need a budget guy, make sure you grind those grind those moments and get this guy at second base. You can pretty much have an all diamond team by just getting some of these guys. And I know that left handed pitcher. Honestly, he's probably gonna make my rotation, and I'm probably gonna pick him up. I need some pitching really really bad, and so I'm if I don't sell him, I'm going to keep him on my squad. And that's just kind of the type of mentality that you want to have with this. Is every single little thing that you're gonna be doing shortest amount of time and give you the maximum profit as possible. That way you can make the most stubs per hour possible. The next thing that I'm going to be talking about is a little bit complicated. So we're going to be talking about Road to the Show. Now, Road to the Show this year can make you a ton of stubs fast through ball player. If you're not doing this, just hear me out. So, whenever you look at my ball player, I've got, I hope she's 18. You go to the player card and you kind of just see all of this stuff. And what you're going to be looking at all of this is you're going to be wanting to have a pitcher. You're going to want to make sure you have a loadout here. And I'm still working on my guys, so... But this is going to be how you make a ton of stubs. You view the program. He's a 73 overall. And how you're going to make a ton of stubs is going to be through this cheesy filth reward path. Now, each time you do this, you're going to be getting small little packs here and here and here and there and there and there and there. And you're going to get all the way up to gold archetype. And you're going to be doing all of these by completing missions. Now, not only is Road to the Show good because your ball player can be incorporated in Diamond Dynasty. So it's a double helping. It helps you both ways because you're going to have a good creative player. And you're also going to get a lot of stubs from this. Now, each time you do this, you're going to be gaining lots of XP. And you're, what's crazy about this is you're going to be gaining stubs as well. And this is this is kind of the cheesy glitch out of it is what you're going to be doing is each time you go into a game and we're going to do this, you're going to be simming it. And you're going to be simming it. And the reason you're going to be simming it is because you're still going to get those rewards by not playing the game. So that's why it's kind of glitchy is because you don't have to play the game to literally get the stubs and everything that you want from it. Now, what you do here is you're going to be going into the you got to hope she's 18. And you're going to be, as soon as you get into the game, you're going to press start. You're going to go all the way to the right. And you're literally going to sim the whole game. I don't care about any of the game. I don't care about what happens. I'm not going to be pitching it because that would take a lot of time. Simulate and exit. Now, you're just going to skip through this. You're going to skip through the game. It's going to take you maybe about 30 seconds each time you do this. And the Mets have defeated the Red Wings 7-2. to So, you finish the Red Wings. You beat them 7-2. to I ended up pitching four innings. Uh, two strikeouts, two earned runs. Obviously, that's not the greatest line, but usually it ends up being better. And those strikeouts, those innings are all compiling over and over and over again towards your road to the show ball player. And those stats, making them go higher and higher. It's going to say no rewards, but ignore that. And sometimes whenever you're playing, it'll even pop up like 5,000 or 8,000 stubs and then like 10,000 or 5,000 XP. And it'll do that because you're finishing the kind of rewards with the ball player. And that's going to be how you're making stubs through this. So I hope this makes sense. I kind of dove down into it. So each time you do it, you're going to go my ball player. You're going to go to loadout. You're going to go to the view program. And these guys are going to all of these missions are going to be going up and up and up because they are repeatable every single time. I'm going to be getting equipment. And then once you get to the gold archetype and when you make a lot of stubs, it's going to be once you get from gold to diamond. And once you get to the diamond archetype, and I'm going to be popping up a screenshot here from another video. But whenever you do this, you are going to be making so many stubs from all of it because you get those free rituals. You get diamond rituals. You get diamond equipment. You get all sorts of stuff like that. And it is going to help you just get more and more and more and more stubs in a very short amount of time. Now, I can, you can literally get from a silver archetype to a diamond archetype. I've seen my roommate do it. He's, he's literally done it in an hour and a half. So you can do that in an hour and a half. And you can get up to 50,000 stubs because of that. So that's going to be about 50,000 stubs per an hour and a half, which is pretty good. And on top of that, if you're doing that type of stuff and you're flipping cards and you're doing the moments as well, you can literally make up to 100,000 subs an hour. Now, I know it's a once-in-a-lifetime type thing, but whenever you do that, it's going to make it to where you earn a lot of stubs in a short amount of time. And this is what this video is about. And so it basically what, I want to be, what you guys want to be doing is you want to be flipping cards and while you're flipping cards, you want to be doing moments or you want to be doing road to the show. And the reason why you want to be doing moments or road to the show is because all of those stubs will compile and compile and compile. And before you know it, you will literally have a god squad on your team. This is how I ended up acquiring Mike Trout. Now, I have lots of saves on my ball player. I have lots of saves on my ball player. I have lots of saves on stuff like that. Every single card that I've gotten in this game has been no money spent this year. I've been grinding this. I have been doing every single little thing to make sure I can penny pinch enough stubs to get the best cards possible. And this is what you're kind of going to be doing. You're going to be doing the smallest. You're going to be doing the little things that a lot of people aren't doing, such as flipping cards on the market, doing the moments, getting free stubs from there. And the last thing that I'm going to be talking about simply is do the first inning program. Now, 
I did the first thing program right now. We're right about 400,000 XP. If you can grind out 650,000 XP, you're going to get a live series player, which is huge. This is absolutely huge for collections. I know you guys who are nobody spent are trying to get Chipper Jones. This is going to be how you do it. You're going to be doing the stuff that I just said. You're going to be grinding the first thing program. This can literally be up to 330,000 stubs made if you end up getting Trout out of this pack. Just stuff like that is going to be insane, and you're going to want to be doing these live series choice packs because they are going to make it to where you're going to be able to finish collections faster and who knows i don't know if this guy's sellable it doesn't say no sell so you literally could make three hundred thirty thousand off of this alone so if you're just grinding it i know they expand they expanded the double xp date so make sure you guys are grinding that i would highly recommend unless you really want kitty lofter one of these guys as soon as i got him i ended up selling whoever was selling for the most which at the time was fernando venezuela for forty five thousand stubs now that's forty five thousand stubs that I could say that I made an hour you know obviously it takes more than an hour so whenever you of course I already have a kind of tutorial on finishing the first inning program and XP so I'm gonna link that now if you guys want to check that out but the first thing bosses and all of the first inning program is very important in this game you guys are gonna want to make sure that you're doing it because it is going to help you make as many stubs as possible again if this video ended up helping you guys out make sure you guys drop a like and a sub it helps me out an absolute ton thank you guys so much for watching and I might be out